What's up, everybody? Many people that are thinking about moving to DC for work try to decide whether to live in Maryland or Virginia if they don't want to live in the city. They both border DC, separated by the Potomac River. There's definitely a rivalry between Maryland and Virginia, at least the parts that are considered the DMV meaning Northern Virginia and the parts of Maryland that include Montgomery County, Prince George's County, and Howard County. So all the parts that actually border the city. So we have a little battle going on between the two of us. So this is a great video for you to watch if you're thinking about one or the other. Both states border the Atlantic Ocean and both states have pretty much the same weather. It may not snow as much in Virginia and it may not get quite as hot in Maryland, but that's definitely not a reason to decide one over the other. Virginia is a lot bigger than Maryland, but they both are very densely populated, at least in the DMV. So once again, that's going to be a tie. So let's break down the differences so we can see which one you prefer. Now, I have to admit I am a little biased I grew up in Maryland and DC and I live in Maryland now and I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping you pick Maryland. But for the purposes of this video, it's important that you also understand that I am a real estate agent licensed in Maryland and Virginia and DC as well. So my hope is to help you find which place you prefer and maybe you'll help us let you buy that place and help you move here. So let's just dive right in. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the commute because we're assuming you're going to be working in DC. So the commute is super important. Both Maryland and Virginia have several metro stops that will take you into DC. In Maryland, you have the red, yellow, green, silver, blue, and orange lines that will take you into the city. In Virginia, you have the orange, blue, yellow, and silver lines that go to DC. So more options from Maryland, but let's call this a tie, sort of. But if you're driving, I think Maryland wins. Although Virginia may be a shorter distance into where you're going into DC, to get into DC, you have to cross the bridge and you have to pay tolls. And it usually will take a lot longer because the traffic is just a lot worse because you have fewer routes into the city. Whereas in Maryland, we are land adjacent to DC. So you have many different ways to get into the city depending on where you're coming from whether it's from Silver Spring or Potomac or Rockville. So you have a lot of different options on how to get into the city. So for the commute, because of the time it will take you driving, I'm gonna say this point goes to Maryland. Number two, taxes and retirement. One of the biggest questions I get asked by people that are thinking of choosing either Maryland or Virginia is which state is better for taxes and retirement? Well, to be honest, Neither state is that great as far as taxes and retirement, unlike our neighbor Delaware or maybe Florida. But for the purposes of this video, let's try and compare the two to really help you decide which is better for you. According to Wallet Hub's study in March of 2022, where they compared state and local tax rates in all 50 states against national medians, Virginia ranked 25, one being the state with the lowest taxes, with a 10.75% effective total state and local tax rate. Maryland ranked 32nd with an 11.49% rate. The national average of state and local tax rates was 10.8%. Maryland has a sales tax of 6%. Virginia has a sales tax of 5.3%. Pensions are taxable in both Maryland and Virginia, so neither one is great for retirement as far as pensions are concerned. Virginia doesn't have an estate or an inheritance tax. Maryland has both. And in both Maryland and Virginia, veterans who are permanently disabled are exempt from property taxes. The bottom line is Virginia does win in this category by a narrow margin, except for when it comes to estate and inheritance taxes. In that category, Virginia wins by a landslide. I'm sure there are more detailed breakdowns of the different taxes in both Maryland and Virginia. So please, please check with your accountant so they can help you decide which state is better for you, depending on your particular situation. Number three, schools. According to Wallet Hub's 2022 study on the states with the best school systems in the country, Virginia and Maryland both took places number four and number five out of all the school systems. 
So I would say this is probably a tie between Virginia and Maryland. I mean, both have excellent school systems in Northern Virginia and the counties that I mentioned in Maryland. But if you want to check for each individual school, definitely look them up. There's two websites that I recommend. There's niche.com and bestschools.net. I would personally check both out because they seem to run very differently. So it's going to fall somewhere in the middle. So public school systems in both Northern Virginia and Montgomery County, they're both excellent. But like I said, check for yourself and to see which school meets your needs. Number four, politics. I would say that Virginia is more of a red state and Maryland's more of a blue state, but you can definitely find both parties in both states. Today, in October of 2022, both Maryland and Virginia have Republican governors, but Maryland has an election coming up next month and Hogan can't run again, so this may change. Virginia just recently elected their governor, so he will be there for another four years. All four senators representing Maryland and Virginia are Democrats. Virginia has 11 seats in the House of Representatives. Seven are Democrat and four are held by Republicans. Maryland has eight seats, seven are Democrat and one is Republican. The vibe in Maryland, I think, and this is just my opinion, tends to be more liberal and the vibe in Virginia tends to be a little bit more conservative. But like I said, you can find both in both. Number five, buying real estate in Maryland versus Virginia. Virginia is a buyer beware state. So if you're buying in Virginia, you can't count on the sellers to disclose things to you, nor the seller's agents. You really have to do your own due diligence and just make sure that you get all the information that you need about the house. In Maryland, buyers are more protected and the sellers have a strong responsibility to disclose just about everything, as well as the seller's agents. If we know something, we need to disclose it to the buyers. So this this is just something you should know when you're thinking about buying in one state versus the other. Number six, parks and recreation. Both Maryland and Virginia have Great Falls and Billy Go trails that overlook the Potomac River, so they definitely tie there, although I like the Maryland side better. Like I said, I am a little biased. As far as the rest, Maryland has St. Michael's, which is on the Eastern Shore, which is a super cute town. We've got Annapolis, the sailing capital of the world. And we've got Assateague Island, where their wild horses roam free, which is definitely a great experience. Virginia's got wine country. They have fabulous vineyards in the Shenandoah Valley. So each state has a little bit of everything, but because we're so close, we get to enjoy each other's parks and recs. So we're gonna call this one a tie as well. Number seven, cost of living. On this one, I think it really depends where you choose to live. They both are pretty expensive when you get that close to DC. If you want more of an industrial city feel, you may want to choose Northern Virginia and Alexandria. If you want more of a suburban neighborhood feel, you may want to choose Maryland because it's got some great suburbs around DC. But ultimately, they're both really expensive when you're talking about real estate, which is right outside of the DMV. I actually made a video on the best suburbs of DC so definitely check that out because it has both Maryland and Virginia suburbs in it. So it gives you a good idea of the different places to look at if you're thinking about buying in one or the other. Number eight, sports. Well, Virginia doesn't have a football team, so I guess we're gonna have to give this one to Maryland. We've got the Ravens, but that's not the whole truth because if you live in Montgomery County, Maryland, or you live in Northern Virginia, usually you're gonna be rooting for the Washington DC teams. So to be perfectly honest, we'd probably all be rooting for the um, what are they called? The Washington Commanders. Oh yes, that's their name. I'm just kidding. We root for the Commanders or better yet for the Washington Capitals or the Washington Nationals, our hockey and baseball teams. So although Maryland would win because we have the football team and Virginia doesn't, I'm being brutally honest, we all root for the DC team. So this is gonna have to be a tie. The bottom line is if you wanna work in DC, but live outside of the city, both Northern Virginia and Montgomery County are great choices. They do offer different things and I do think they have different vibes. So I think it's important for you to come and visit both of them. And like I said, we are licensed in Maryland and Virginia and DC. So if you'd like our help, just send us an email. We'll set up a Zoom. We'll get you started. We've had tremendous success helping people relocate to the DC area, and we would love to help you make this move as seamless as possible. If you are thinking about moving here, definitely check out our library of videos. We have tons of videos on different places to live, 
pros and cons and neighborhood tours, so you might find it helpful to check them out. Hope you got some value out of today's video. If you'd like to see more videos on Maryland, DC, and Virginia, definitely subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and smash that like button if you want to show our channel some support. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Bye!